corroding. Whoa, we're sinking in. We can't park them. Hey. Filming firing at the moment. Driver back seat shuts it down! Well, I hope I'm not using my year's luck in a month. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? So we have just landed back in Muscat, Oman for round two and three of the Oman International Drift Championship. We made it without any issues, uh, which was surprising because thanks to Fleet Livery Solutions, we were able to get a brand new bumper, wrap and wing packaged up and all the way here with us. I've got a new front wing and a new front bumper for the race car. And fingers crossed, we can check this in as, Jesus. <coughs> fingers crossed, we can check this in as oversized luggage. And uh, they believe me when I tell them it's uh, skis, <laughs> you know, and we're going to Oman. So yeah, it's a fairly long flight, eight hours, uh, direct from London Heathrow to Muscat. The flight was pretty empty, only about 40 passengers on board. So it was really chilled. Uh, we could all just sort of hang out, sit as a group, chat. Um, and the flight crew were really, really friendly, really, really good to us maybe a little bit too good to us. Some of us probably took a little bit more advantage than others of the free beverages on the flight. Look at the f state of that guy. <laughs> so we got to the hotel, some of us needed a little nap, so we had a little sleep for a few hours, and then we went out and uh, enjoyed uh, Muscat. We went up this amazing mountain, got to look out over Amman, these amazing views of this really cool windy road that goes up towards where we were. We was looking out over the whole of Muscat, it was absolutely beautiful. Uh, we noticed that there was some um, trucks driving up the sand dunes, so we headed back down to go and check that out, which was super cool. It's who's going to go first is the question. <laughs> going to rock, paper, scissors for it. <laughs> yeah. Right, so it's on the three, yeah, so we go, so... One, not, not, two, boom. Yeah, yeah, ready? <laughs> One, two, two, boom. <laughs> <laughs> you, reckon this, you reckon these will get up there? Oh, no, no. Next to the track here, there's a little off-road course, a little, off, little bit of 4 by 4 in. Um, Martin decided that, you know, he's the off-road 4 by 4 British champion and decided to give it, a, give it a go. Unfortunately, it didn't end so well for him. That puddle looks dry. If you want to win off-roading, it's like my side. Can you put it in four-wheel drive again? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we sinking? Oh, mate, we're f***ing. Whoa, we're sinking in! We're f***ing sinking, mate. We're f***ing sinking. We're stuck now. Oh, f***. Oh, 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 look at the front, look at four of me. Fine. You can't park them, eh? Hey. <laughs> what are you doing, mate? Hey, Martin. Can somebody just go and get a f***ing rope? <laughs> Help! I'll get into position. We had a blast watching him, uh, so much fun. I honestly, I don't feel like I've laughed that much in, in ages, it was amazing. <laughs> oh my God. It's a bit muddy, mate. Oh, she was in there. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so today is setup day. We're going to unload the container, get everything set up in the paddock. So we took on a little bit of damage at round one. Um, so we're going to spend today just going through the car, new bumper, new wing, um, change the oil, just check over the car, make sure everything's tight, ready for uh, ready for round two and three. Hi, do 
you have a hot turbo, <laughs> then look no further. On Motorsports, we'll keep you cool. Professional eyeballing. You got to be really experienced to to know just the right amount of eyeballing that's necessary. I've heard rumors that they make devices with little like markings on them, the numbers. I graduated from that. Professional eyeballer. Well, what I think we should remember is if we go up against each other, that we have a gentleman's agreement that we'll just leave the cars as they were in practice yeah. and not grip them up to the nines yeah. with no practice, no idea what's going to happen on the track and just go and have a great tandem battle rather than trying to be drag racers in drifting. Yeah, we'll do that. I mean, I'll, I mean that's a gentleman's agreement generally. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm... You're so not going to do that. <laughs> Anyway, me and Martin are going for a quick track walk. It's round two of Oman International Drift Championship, Muscat. It's night time on setup day. It's about nine o'clock at night on Wednesday, yeah. set up. And we're gonna go and have a good look at the track. So come for a walk. It's quite a long run up. I think this is a longer run up than we had before, isn't it? Uh, so where's the other start line? So the start kind of line was way. in the... It's kind of that way, wasn't it? Or is it about the same, do you think? I think it's about the same. I don't remember these boxes in round one. They're like I think those boxes. Center. I think those boxes are to show uh, if you initiate onto the other over side center. of the track. Yeah. yeah, I mean this first corner is pretty much the same as when we was here last time, just the other way round. But I think you'd be able to hit this a bit faster. I don't think it's as tight a arc here as it is say over there. Yeah, maybe. Probably grippier. I think so, yeah. The last look at time, that, look at that rubber. All, all the rubber's down from last time. And like you feel here is really more grippy than here. Do you reckon he did it with like a bit of string and a pencil and he just went all the way around the tarmac? No, mapping it he out. didn't do it with this. this. They actually had some proper computer engineer do it. Did they? From the Google map drawings, yeah. Oh, really? And then they had... There's um, me, I would have been out there with me... Uh, yeah, he said he used to do that in BBC days. But the now tractor? they actually have a, a landscape engineer, you know, with those tripods and oh, yeah? things, and then they, they plot it out. Oh. Very jazzy. He was telling me the other day. It gets a bit confusing here because all the lines. Literally, when I was up there, when we were looking at it, I thought it was going to go around here. <laughs> I was like, oh. oh, yeah, it goes over there. Maybe follow the guy. Yeah. Follow the guy in front. So, yeah, I think this is a full throttle transition, and then try and pick your point and get on the line. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, maybe as late as possible. Yeah, so it's, yes, yeah, stay a little bit away from the line. Yeah, yeah. And then you don't to need to pick the line up straight away on the, so where it is. That's the decel zone as well. Yeah. Can I see the little map thing again? Where the optimum line is for here? Decel on the spot is. And then back on the power. Oh, right, because it's leading you into the next wall. Yeah. I wonder. So the only decel you can do is here? Yeah, between these two spots. I mean, obviously, if you start deselling there, I don't think it's going to be a massive issue. Yeah. I'm not sure I 100% agree with that, but anyway. Good work. Where the deceleration point is on the track map, but we'll see once we get into it, I guess. No, I think it'll be good. It'll be fun. Okay, so it's first day of the event. It's Thursday. We've got practice this afternoon and then we go into qualifying into this evening. Uh, looking forward to it. Uh, the car at the last event did pretty well, so I'm looking forward to getting back in it. They've changed the track 
uh, quite a bit, which is cool. I'm really looking forward to getting out there and seeing, uh, seeing what it's about. And uh, yeah, looking forward to some tandem battles. I think there's going to be loads of opportunity for some big dives. Uh, it's going to be one of those risk and reward circuits because I think everybody's going to be having to take big risks. It's going to be winning it on the, on the chase battle for sure. So yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, a lot more drivers here for this round. I think there's like 60 drivers on the grid for this one. I think there was only about 45 or 40 at the last event. So uh, practice probably be a little bit less than last time, but yeah, it's going to be good. Sweater. You've seen, uh, I bought one of these, I mean. Thanks, mate. Coming up. And I bought work clothes just in case you need me to help anything. Well, you could have took them out because you won't use them. Brought me. But he's got like this on camera. Monster. Well, he's got it on camera now. So if you, if you say to me, anything <laughs> Sunday morning. We ain't got a welder. Oh, this welder's at the road. I know that where the fab shops are. Thanks, mate. I'm thinking about you. I just uh, over throttled in the middle section. Do you think you hit any of the rear or anything? Or is that all feel fine? No, it's quite a soft impact to be honest mate. I don't think we damaged anything, but let's double check. Just made a silly mistake. I stayed on the throttle for too long. And um, yeah, just couldn't scrub enough speed off. Um, I kind of knew I was, on the wrong, I was in the wrong place. So I just tried to let it wash a little bit to get to get away from heading towards the wall and I just got stuck. I just went that way anyway. Just maybe trying a little bit too hard. It's our second run out on the track. I should probably be just taking it a little bit easier. But uh, yeah, just pushing too hard. Need to dial it back a little bit. Just had some minor teething issues. You know, what you gotta do is you gotta find the limit. If you find the wall first, then you know that you can come away from it a little bit. Just found it a little bit too hard on that one. It happens. Surprised at all, seen them rise and fall. Went up the mountain, it wasn't hard to climb at all. At the top, I found some relief. I finally got some peace. Carry on, but please don't mess up the money. So we just finished practice. Um, practice was okay. 
I felt like if I'd had a few more laps, I would have been a little bit more confident with the track. I feel like I've got the qualifying line okay, but I would have just liked to have been a little bit deeper on the walls. I feel like I'm leaving a little bit out there still. There's probably like a good foot, foot and a half between the back bumper and the wall. So I'd like to tighten that right up so just to try and get the maximum qualifying score we can. Just went in the briefing, uh, getting ready now for qualifying. Just gonna do the best we can. I'm probably gonna just try and put in a really solid run for the first one to get some points on the board. Have a quick look back at it, and then if we've got a little bit more room to adjust, uh, we'll go all out for the second one. Nice line, mate. Well done. It was a bit scrappy, mate, to be honest. I don't think we will get very high with that one. I was uh, outside of a few key places, so we'll see what happens. So the overall line was quite nice. It was just like you said, it was a bit scrappy in a few places, but I think it will be a decent run. Like, I don't think you'll worry. You just got to do better on the next one. Qualifying run one is done. I came back into the pits and I was super bummed. I was like, I didn't really feel like it was a great run at all, personally, from me. I know practice didn't go great, but I felt like I'd done a better run in practice. However, we've qualified uh, in sixth place so far after run number one. I think our score was a 85, I think. I'll just double check. Our score was 84.3. Yeah, I'm surprised. Yeah, I just didn't think it was that great. I, I felt my qualifying run in uh, at the first round, my first run was, I felt a lot more confident with it, but it didn't score very high at all, but uh, yeah, it's weird. I don't know. But anyway, I'll take it. Uh, we'll just try and improve on it and see if we can climb a few more points. The judges are trying something new here as well. Traditionally, we normally all start with 100 points as we leave the start line and the judges would like bleed points from us as we make mistakes. But then Kieran Hines was explaining that that doesn't really leave any room for uh, like impression you give to the judges or how exciting the run is. So they're kind of saving five points to be able to give you for overall impact, or they can take also five points away from you, you know, if it's not very exciting. So uh, it's an interesting move from the judges. It's one that I kind of agree with. I think it's great because you can go out there and do an amazing run and it's really exciting to watch. And yes, you're on all the clipping points, but sometimes the judges can't reward that impact. They don't have an option to do that. So I feel like this new system gives them the option to reward drivers that bring something really exciting to the track. So go back out there for run number two and uh, try and just improve on what we've just done. And yeah, see if we can find a few more points. I think Steve should do a lot. Like he's, he's going to go out and basically do what he did on his first one, but just push a little bit harder because we've got a good score on the board now and we're in sixth position, so it should be a good run. Thank you, Sam. Do you want to just listen to the car in the burnout box? See if it's all right. Listen to it, see it here if it's misfiring or hesitating. We had a small hesitation last time it was warming up, so I think it threw him off a bit.
stopping and look at the uh, board. Look to see if my entry was as good as I thought it was. Uh, you hesitated a bit on entry, but it was a nice line, so I don't know how they're going to mark that one. I had to literally look out the passenger window, down. Looking like for the I line. I am like that. Looking for the line. I am literally I'm not even watching out the front window, really. No, I'm just no. looking for the, I'm just monitoring where the, the line, line is, is yeah. and just curving around with that. Yeah. I don't look up until I have to transition. I don't know if Martin does the same. It's an interesting question to ask him. Martin. Martin, do you find you're like drifting when you're drifting here do you find you're almost looking down the whole time out the passenger that window first corner yeah. i'm literally looking at my square hole at the line <laughs> literally out the square That's hole and i'm like hole. actually getting wind in my eyes because i usually wear sunglasses and it's like starting to dry the contact lens out I'm like come on come on come on transition oh we're all right <laughs> i literally i've never driven a, i've never drifted at an event as much and you've got so you're much time just... you're literally there going <laughs> Oh, there it is! <laughs> Just staring at a line. Yeah. Take that with me. That's qualifying done. Uh, after my first score, I was sitting in sixth position, which I felt was quite strong, considering my practice. I didn't feel that confident. Just felt like I needed a few more laps just to really dial in the track. I felt like I get all the clips and I could get the line, but you know, it's so you know it's so tight on what they want from you you know they really 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 want like that perfect outside line everywhere you go they want you on that line so to really try and get that is tough um, especially as we only kind of had sort of five laps in practice first qualifying run was good uh, sitting in six so I decided that I just would go for it just do the best we can we're gonna be in the top 32 whatever happens so let's just throw it out there and I, I went in a bit more aggressive I really tried to um, just put it on the wall. Uh, we tagged the wall nearest us here, knocked the cone out, and uh, I think we were rewarded for that. So overall, we finished in third place in qualifying, which is great, especially for me. As I've said before, I don't feel like I'm always the best in qualifying. Always go a little bit too much or, you know, just try a little bit too hard. So it puts us in a strong position, I guess, for tomorrow's top 32 battles. We've got tandem practice in the morning, and then we go into the top 32. So looking forward to chilling now with the team, go through the car, make sure everything's good, and uh, yeah, can relax, go to bed with a smile, and uh, yeah, looking forward to what tomorrow brings. Cool, so it is race day here. It's Friday morning. Uh, twin battle practice has just started. Um, we're gonna head out in the car in a moment. Guys are just getting things ready to go. Looking forward to getting a few laps into the track. Um, try and chase down a couple of guys that are quite fast, see how we get on, see how we are for pace. And then, yeah, we go into the top 32 later on this afternoon. Hopefully get through the uh, top 32 and then we've got a top 16 parade. And then obviously into the main competition.
Okay, so that's practice done just before top 32 battles start. Got four laps of the track, so two battles basically. First one was a little bit sketchy. Uh, track conditions have changed again from yesterday. Um, last night's qualifying uh, to today. It's almost like driving in two different places, really. So yeah, we've got a little bit of a break now. Uh, we've got another briefing coming up in about an hour, and then the battles start in about three hours from now. So it starts from about four o'clock. So by the time I get my battle, it should be about five o'clock. Um, and obviously it will start to get cooler into the evening. So when it comes to the battles, it's gonna be a bit cooler. Helps me, helps the guys, helps the team, helps the cars out there as well. So yeah, looking forward to top 32. And uh, fingers crossed we can bring it all the way home. It's really hot. It's making my brain melt. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go haul some tires. Yay! where Mark's gone. Sam, where's Mark? I don't know, I think he's gone to go change tyres. Changing's only over there, should it take a few minutes? It's been gone about 20 minutes again. Where you been? I'm just the tire. It's been gone for like half an hour. Yeah, I thought it was an hour. What? It's hot! I get confused. You're still like confused with you, you know, Martin. Okay. <laughs> No worries, everyone's confused. He's confused, he's confused. Is the heat getting to everybody? Where have you been? <laughs> I got, there's no signs. There's no signs. Get out there, I got scared, I'm lonely. I'm dehydrated. Come on, I, I've completed the mission. I think you need to keep an eye on <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think the heat's got to. Somebody better. Can you drink some water, please? I'm gonna get some right now. I use this, right? Yeah, Still, yeah, I gotta yeah. spray yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> spray yourself down. All right, I'll get some water. I'll see you in two hours. <laughs> Mark, toilets are that way. Is he going that? No, that way. way. <laughs> that, Mark, 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 it's that way. That way. I think. Uh, I, I think we need to find new help. Is there like a website where you can find new pictures? I think so. I think there's like some sort of motorsport website you can go to to try and find I mean, he's support. still going the wrong way, like it's over there. He has missed the toilet completely. He's now going back to the tyre changing. Do you understand he's got... Like he doesn't have tyres anymore. Is he going to go ask them to change his water on the tyre machine? I don't know. I think he might have like some sort of dehydration thing going on right now. He's getting very confused. We've got to make sure we don't forget him because he'll just walk off and then drive away. Yeah, but he'll be back. We'll just leave him here to round three. He'll survive. He'll just go. We just give him a load of tyres. By the time we get back, do you reckon they'll be changed? Maybe it's like seven days. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, maybe. I mean, either that or just, just either that or he'll like, either that or he'll just open up some sort of like camel market where he trades camels, yeah. tyres for camels, tyres for camels. Yeah. Sam was like inside the tires. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is it, going into top 32 now. Uh, just walking down, the guys have already got the car in the starting, like the waiting queue to, sort of thing. So yeah, just gonna head down now, uh, check out some of the battles before. Martin's coming up soon, so I'm gonna check his run out. And then yeah, go into top 32. Hopefully, hopefully it's a smooth, uh, smooth run into top, into top 16 and uh, Things are going to get a bit more crazy after that, I would imagine. So, 
yeah, be good to get into it, settle in nicely into this one, hopefully, and uh, go from there. Well, here we go, thumbs up all round, Bagsy Mahmood come off the line, Bagsy flat through the gears, Monster Energy, ST suspension PS13 getting into business right now, sends it in, keeps it holding the circuit, oh and a big understeer for Mahmood, Mahmood just cannot hang with the pace and the grip in the back end of that S13 of Bagsy's and then once again Mahmood falls apart, Bagsy starts to throw down that third place qualifying run, that consistency creeping back in and Mahmood making hundreds of errors in the background, a 10 Zero advantage already to Bagsy and so much understeer. Fires that car on angle, trying to get some proximity on Bagsy, but just cannot hang with him. Bagsy gets into the outside zone. There's a back end of the car on the wall. Bagsy, job done. I think maybe behind you in the PS put too much grip into his car and I think he's 10 0 at himself. Get straight in it. Okay, copy that, mate. So I'll, uh, I'll, I'll give him a good chase, but I won't go crazy. Just to make sure you don't get caught out being inactive. Yeah, copy that, mate. Copy. I think it's the track more than anything, mate. The track has got a lot more grip in it than it had before. Okay, roger that. Yeah, he kept straightening behind you and just looked like he put way too much grip into the car. Yeah, I think it's because he jumped from road tires to the Pino, so I look for things, but anyway. Oh, so here we go, thumbs up all round now. And the green light is go. Can Mahmood lay down a lead line? This could be uncharted waters for Bagti right now as he fires in that Monster Energy S13 Mahmood finds everything he has but he fires that car across the centre of the track and Mahmood's car just has an in no power nothing left to give as Mahmood fires the car left to right trying to redeem something trying to stick something together as Bagti just gives him the room to manoeuvre sticks to that qualifying line Mahmood fires the throttle to the floor now Bagsy gets himself into that final outside zone and Mahmood on the inside edge of the track. Bagsy finishes up the run. So we're moving on, we've just done our top 32 battle. It was a little bit scrappy. Um, I tried to do the best lead line I could. Wasn't too bad and then in the chase, um, I think he made a few mistakes. I, I, I get the feeling that the he might have over gripped his car up. The track has got cooler and the grip has gone up massively just because it's now rubbering up again and it's the, the track was overheating bad so now it's come down a little bit there's actually more grip out there so I think that might have caught him out a little bit but anyway we're moving into top 16 we've got the parade coming up shortly so yeah see how the next one goes I'm gonna lead first as well yeah I just don't want to catch on the steer fucking open, but I don't normally catch it in the lead it's normally on the chase well, they're warm but I cut when I don't throw it as hard as I normally throw it because I'm just yeah, trying to trying adjust to, to angle not. Yeah, I, think I, I personally think leaving where they are and then um, I'll obviously go and do the parade and then we'll just see, see how it goes. Yeah, I think, I think we're safe at 20 to be honest. Yeah. So we noticed after the top 32 battle that the car still had a slight misfire and hesitation on thrall under heavy load. So pulled up the logs, had a quick check over the car and it turns out that the second pump from the tank to the engine had a failure. So we've quickly, luckily we had three pumps in it for uh, feed, so we've quickly swapped to the third pump, so now we're running pump one and pump three, and obviously that's solved our fueling issue, and hopefully it solves the he uh, hesitation under heavy load. So hopefully that does the job now, and going into top 16, which have no issues. Top 16 parade around track right now, just giving the fans a much closer look at all the cars in the top 16. Uh, we're going to lead our way, lead all the cars round, head back into the paddock in a minute, and then we're going up against Sebastian Fontaine. Uh, really good driver, so it's yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. We're both going to have to push, I guess. Sebastian's uh, had some bad luck with his car over the last event or so, so. But I'm pretty sure he's got it dialed up now, so it should be a good battle. So I think, fingers crossed we go through, but I'm really looking forward to just having a really good tandem. Hope we haven't gripped the car up too much again. It's the uh, common misconception we put too much grip in the car and uh, things don't work. So hopefully we've got the grip level right, not too much or too little. 
back to the start line where we go head to head, Bagsy to take on Sebastian Fontaine. Here we go, Bagsy lights up the tyre straight away, Fontaine hungry. He knows Bagsy third step on the podium at round one, can he do it again? Look at this, Bagsy right to the edge of the circuit, holds on to it. Wow, what a line from Bagsy, incredible stuff. Fontaine right with him though, nosing that BMW right up onto the front wheel. Fontaine is hungry as he found a little fortune. Wow, the transition from Fontaine was insane, but he's made a mistake and shuts it down. Fontaine shuts it down. Bagsy absolutely nails it to the outside line, put flat to the floor. And Sebastian Fontaine pulls that car off track. What is going on in Amman? Something happened there in his run and he stopped driving. I'm not sure if he you know, had a gear issue or the prop given up or what, but he stopped. So. All right, copy that. I think he's getting out of the car. I think something broke. Well done, mate. That was a really good, nice line uh, in your knee position. And it seems like it was a uh, good balance on grip there. So uh, hopefully we can stick with that. He's broken, uh, but he's called a climbing in rule. I'm guessing they're going to have a look at it and see if they can do anything at all, but I'm guessing that's probably unlikely. I'm stood over by the team right now. They're just jacking it up. They're saying no. They're not. There's nothing they can do. All right, cool. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna drive around the track and just come back in. And just wait for the crowd a bit. I'm not gonna drive this. Save the tires. Save the car. Top 16's done. Um, yeah, we were lucky. Um, we made a big jump uh, to put as much grip in the car as we could. Literally, uh, we were going up against Sebastian Fontaine, one of the best drivers out here no doubt so we had to do something so i threw it out i went out as fast as i could done the best lead line i could um and unfortunately sebastian's car broke a dip i believe during the battle so he was unfortunately that's him done he couldn't change it in time i'm not even 100 percent sure they have a dip with them according to one of their mechanics so he's had a bad time so far here i feel so bad for him you know the amount of time and effort everyone's put in to be here and so far i reckon he's probably done eight laps of the track, maybe 10, with the amount of uh, amount of problems they've had. But anyway, we move on. Uh, we're now in the great eight, um, and we're just waiting to find out who we're going against. I guess we're gonna just leave the car where it is with as much grip in it as possible, because yeah, from what I've seen, yeah, the track's getting really fast now, So and everybody's stepping it up. So we're gonna just have to just push as hard as we can and hope it pays off. Here we go, big one. Bagsy versus Lipsky. Steve Bagsy, been around for a very long time now, but the young gun from Ukraine, he wants a taste of the blood. Big initiation from Lipsky, fires it in hot and heavy. Bagsy calculated, keeps it cool, calm and collected. He's looking for the grip, looking to drive away. Lipsky with him though. Lipsky looking for the back bumper and that Monster Energy PS13. Whoa! Almost takes it off. Lipsky playing with danger. Lipsky fires it in backwards. Lipsky fires it in backwards on the transition and throws it away. Bagsy, the experience, the maturity just plays through as Bagsy comes down into the final outside zone, onto the foot brake. Pretty decent line into there as well. The young man just got too hot and heavy and just threw that one away. What a shame for Lipsky. They fall down the uh, car in the burnout box for a bit already. But uh, the guy fan out between clip two and clip three, so obviously, you know, don't get inactive, but he's on a 10-0. Right, copy that. Coming in for water temp now. Coming in for water temp now. Do it, my decent to chase, but don't push too hard and knock yourself out over it. Don't get done being inactive. Here we go, back on the start line. It will be Timo Lipski to lead out Bagsy for the spot in the, the final four. The headlights are on, the thumbs are up. We look for the traffic light. It's Amber, Bagsy starts to go already. He knows Lipsky's quick. Lipsky hop through the gate, no messing around. Flat to the floor is Lipsky. Bagsy gives him some room to maneuver. He knows he's a wild young man and he goes three wheels off track. As Lipsky starts to fall apart once again, Lipsky not in this one. Bagsy shallows it up, keeps his cool, holds on for dear life as Lipsky looks reckless through the center of the circuit throwing that car left to right now Bagsy sees he's settled Bagsy looks for the door can't find it though just can't find that grip or proximity as Lipsky looks to transition back Bagsy dives through the smoke Bagsy needs to seal the deal and get back on the door and he does Bagsy right with him across the line mate hold well on exactly what you need to do it's not a little bit more than what you need to do yeah I just wanted to show the kid a little bit of love that was all He's done a great lead line to be fair, a great lead line. It's a bit of wobble when he initiated, but as soon as he got over his nerves, I think he was fine. 
So yeah, it was a good show. I'm coming off radio now, mate. You've got a great future ahead of you, man. Great driving. Great driving. That was interesting for sure. Just trying to do the very best lead line I could. Um, Sam came over the radio and told me he made a mistake. Like I don't know if he half spun or spun. Um, but yeah, I, I just I just gave it my all anyway. I think he had two or three wheels off on the first turn. Kind of made things a little bit twitchy from there because I had to try and get proximity. So I had to come away from the line a little bit to try and get up with him. Otherwise, I was just going to get blinded by the smoke. And I wasn't sure how much of a deficit they were going to give him for getting like two or three wheels off. I wasn't sure. So I just tried to jump at his door and continue the run. And uh, yeah, it paid off. We're running about as much grip this, as this car will handle. Any more grip and we're going to start getting mental understeer. So, um, yeah, fingers crossed. I think we're into the top four now. So two more battles, hopefully, to the top step of the podium or at least one more battle, I guess. And then third and fourth playoff to try and still make the podium. So I think, I can't even think straight. Anyway, top four. Let's try and win this next battle and then get into the final. I'm not sure who we're against yet because uh, there's still some more cars to go so but it doesn't matter because everybody now in the in this last section is amazing and driving really fast so <sighs> big shout out to the team even including Martin Tess and Sire, new Sire while Sam's up in the spotting tower just trying to figure out who we're against and try and get a bit of info so we know what we're doing but as I said, everybody's really fast and everybody's doing a good line, so. So here we go. Next battle for a spot in the final is going to be Ahmed Daham to lead out Bagsy. Red Bull versus Monster Energy on the line right now. We await to get the thumbs up from our start line, Marshall. Both guys, doors cranked open, a little, a little bit of fresh air in those very hot cabins. And we patiently wait for the thumbs up from our start line marshal. We'll see the doors close, we'll see the car slam into gear. Here we go, business. The final step in the final, the final place to go. Bagsy jumps the start line, he knows the ham's quick, he's not gonna mess around, he's through the gears, he lets the ham through, goes for initiation on the door. Bagsy, a little bit too early, can he make it happen? The ham starts to drive away, Bagsy shallows up the angle as Bagsy hunts for the side of that Red Bull S15. Through the smoke comes Bagsy, but he's a little bit too early. Bagsy looks for it once again as the ham puts on an absolute masterclass, takes the back end off the car, Bagsy finds the side of the Hams S14 loses it again in the smoke as the transition awaits Bagsy dives through the smoke the Ham on an absolute flyer he puts on some serious angle oh and the Ham comes up short on the wall I made that do a good lead yeah I'll do my best mate I made a bit of a weird transition through the middle that's all right he normally does weird transitions through the middle anyway so hopefully he doesn't have as much proximity as you and you've got it and his lead had uh, room for improvement anyway, so just do a nice lead like you've been doing all day. Cars slam into gear, thumbs up all round. Banksy to lead, the ham to give chase, the ham creeping off the line. Cones wobble as they scream through the gears. Look at the ham, he's gripped that car up to 100. Nice initiation from Banksy. The ham now starts to shallow up the angle, find himself on the inside edge of the circuit. But the ham's a little closer. You can see him working the S14 up onto the side of that PS13. No messing around. Banksy goes wide on the transition, flicks it back. The ham with him. The ham goes for the back bumper, he's on to the side of Bagsy's car. The ham playing with Bagsy on the back end of the circuit as the ham hammers down Bagsy. Fires through, full throttle on the transition. Looks for the wall, Bagsy a lot cleaner as the ham hunts him down, he's not got the proximity. Wow. Really, really good lead, mate, well done. Any mistakes from his side, mate? Or what do you reckon? Uh, I'm not sure, it's going to be very, very close. He made a few uh, mess up that in chase, so it might go yours or it might be one more time. Top four, we gave it everything we had. We, we, we tried putting in a little bit more grip than we uh, had before. It was risky. I don't think it paid off, to be honest. We were on a knife edge of understeer versus grip. It was trying to understeer on me and I was having to really try and fight it. But um, I made a weird transition in the smoke as well. I popped out too early and I... Uh, I guess that's where I, I guess that's where I, I lost it. So it was on me. Um, yeah, it's the best we could do at that moment. And uh, yeah, I mean we're not out. Third and fourth now, chance of a podium still. Do our best. I think we're against our good friend Ali potentially. 
from Q8. Um, so yeah, it's going to be fun. Looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed we can still make it to the podium. Thumbs up, door slam shut, car slam into gear, Bagsy to lead out, Ali Maxi for a spike to the spot on the third step. Nice initiation from Bagsy, but Maxine's there. Maxine oh, drops down out of the outside zone. Maxine goes for the dive. Bagsy on the foot brake. Maxine fires it in backwards up, trying to get onto the door. Maxi stays in it. Nice transition across the circuit as Maxine's with him. Maxine looks for the back end. Bagsy is hungry for a the kill hungry for a step on the podium Bagsy though absolutely fulfilling all of the outside zones you can barely see it Ali Maxide's car through the smoke but there he is right there looking for the door Maxide goes for the kill looks to seal the deal as Bagsy coaxes him across the line yeah he was absolutely on you it was a bit twitchy but he had really good proximity so just go for it all you've got mate just remember that he can be a bit slow on entry so maybe give him a little bit of space and then go for it and just absolutely nail his door uh, okay, cool. I'll give it everything I've got. This could potentially be the final run before we head to the final, or it could be one more time. The light goes green. Bagsy through off straight away. He knows Maxine's fast. Look at this, Maxine, little flick. Bagsy with him though, onto the front wheel goes Bagsy. Maxine drops down, he's out of the outside zone. Bagsy has to hold out. Bagsy just can't swing with him at the moment. As Maxine sticks foot to floor, starts to throw up some smoke, he goes way wide, that shuts the door, but Bagsy comes in early. Maxine goes deep, Bagsy almost takes him off the circuit, but Bagsy finds the side of that GT86 as Maxine can't evade. Bagsy now through the smoke comes the UK driver as Ali Maxine looks one last time to try and evade. Can he? No way, Bagsy there with him. One more time, mate, one more time. Project, we're getting ready to, uh, I think, give it a few reds and see if it's still misfiring, or maybe give it a little burnout. Just come back in and see if it was going to do it again. Still misfiring at the moment. Still misfiring under load at the moment. What do you call a five-minute roll? Let's see how long we can go without calling a five-minute roll. So we're taking a big risk at the moment. We're gonna go another step in grip. It's, I, I think it's about the only way we're gonna get the, the win. It's a knife edge already, and I feel like we're on it. Uh, we've understeer, but I think if we go again the way we are, I'm fighting the car. We're also fighting a misfire. The second half of that run, we had a misfire. So. We'll have to just wait and see what happens. It's a gamble, but I feel like it's a gamble worth taking at this point. Because it could be the difference between, you know, because Ali's really fast, so I'm struggling to keep up with him. So I'm going to have to really push. So, yeah. Let's see what happens now. Uh, I don't feel like it's going to do any damage, so... It's your choice, but... I hope that you have to go for it, or just don't bother. It's your choice now. So. Go for it. Yeah. Mate, you've got this. I know you can do it. The same as what you were doing before, but just a bit faster now. That's the only difference. Thank you, mate. Thank you for all your hard work. I appreciate it. To you, Mark, Higo, and Martin, Tess, and Sly. It's done an amazing job getting us this far. I hope I can get us to the next step. I'll top the podium. That'd be lovely. You're sent faith in you, mate. Thumbs up from both sides. This is it. Is this the final one more time? Is this... The battle before we get to the final. Bagsy leads out. Ali Maxi through the gears down the straight. They've felt each other out. They know the Kings. Bagsy deep into outside zone one. Bagsy's turned that car up to 100. Starts to evade Ali Maxi once again. Up until the wall goes Bagsy. Maxi looks for the back bumper as he transitioned. Not so scrappy this time from Maxi as he almost makes contact with Bagsy. Up until the wall once again. They get into this outside zone. Maxi knows he can't hang around. He needs to gain that proximity. Bagsy on an absolute fly, but Maxi just shuts it down, Maxi shuts it down, and Bagsy hammers on through, gets himself up to the wall. Good job, he's out behind you, so it's 10 zero. So just make sure you've got a good chase, doesn't have to be like on his absolute door, but you've got to be deep in it and not inactive. Alright, copy that, give me, an, uh, give me an answer on fire where I'm coming in now. Pulling into the pits, I think he's calling a five minute. Yeah, he's calling five minute roll, let's get water on the radiator while we wait. Temperatures are really good, we're still at we're 78 on the oil, we're 86 on the water, so we're still good. How much power have we got left? The right side's not much, but just make it work. 
not much. The same part bro. Oh, yeah. If you fucking stick it together, so yeah. it's a miracle. <laughs> it's Hopefully you can fix it again. Yeah, let's see, I hope so too. Man. Both the cars are bad, that is misfiring like crazy. Oh, yeah. So hopefully yeah. we can get out and it's do it. It's a messy again. event, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't reckon there's very much time left. I reckon this is gonna go potentially our way by default again. <sighs> I'll tell you what, I hope I'm not using my whole year's luck in Oman. That's all she said and wrote. Bagsy takes third place again in Oman. Steve Bagsy! Again, Steve? Come on. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big hand to Cherba, Bagsy, and Daham! Where do we start? What a day. Oh my God. Yeah, amazing. The top 32 battles, you know, the ones I was watching, you know, some of them could have been finals. You know, going into top 16, you know, it was against Sebastian Fontaine, one of the best drivers out here. He's had multiple podiums here in Amman. It's going to be a tough day in the office. Uh, we got a little bit lucky. His, uh, his differential broke chasing me. Um, and I, he wasn't obviously able to fix it in time, so we moved on to the top eight. Again, young Ukrainian driver, amazing guy. He's gonna be one to watch for sure. He's only been drifting like a year or something. I think I heard he's like 14 or 15 years old. Big name coming in the future for sure. And then obviously, oh God, I can't even remember. I'm so tired. Uh, top four, we was up against the ham. He was amazing. So, so fast around this track. He's won a couple against me. I've won a couple against him. It's he was amazing so fast around the track it's unbelievable so yeah and then going into the third and fourth playoff again we got a little bit lucky um we had a one more time with ali amazing driver amazing guy he's from qa awesome dude like he's one of the nicest guys here in the paddock it was awesome to go up against him we got one more time and then um i believe he had a problem with his car and had to unfortunately bail out so that got us onto the podium again I mean, in drifting, you need a little bit of luck sometimes, and at the moment, we're being a little bit lucky, so it's good. Two events, two podiums. Looking forward to round three. It's only in a week's time. The guys are gonna get busy with the car tomorrow morning. We are currently, or we do currently have a misfire with the car, um, so we need to figure that out. I'm hoping that it's nothing crazy and it's just something silly, but fingers crossed. We're not 100% sure. We changed the spark plug, we changed the lead, and we changed core pack. Uh, before going into the one more time and that didn't really fix it so we're gonna have to look at we're gonna have a look at now into fuel pressure and have a look at the logs and stuff now we've got a bit more time to see if we can figure it out fingers crossed it's something that we can fix here and uh, we can get back to round three and hopefully score some more points and uh, yeah see where that leaves us with the championship overall gonna get busy with the car now and hopefully get some more points so we can continue the championship. I think we might be in like second place now with the championships. So we'll be back here in a week's time. See you all at round three. Ooh, baby, I love you way. Every day. You can't have it all. You can't have your cake and eat it. It would be nice. I am hungry as well. Hey, crazy. It was a minute. <laughs>